All right, big safety changes are now coming to sporting events at Montgomery County Schools. This violent brawl at the Gaithersburg High School Northwest High School football game last week triggering tighter security measures for all county school sporting events. News 4's Mark Seagraves was at a news conference with the superintendent today and joins us live with these changes that are now in effect. Hey, Mark. Yes, yeah, Sean, big changes. In fact, that will affect all Montgomery County sporting and athletic events, not just football. This was the scene last Friday night at the varsity football game between Gaithersburg and Northwest High Schools. First, a fight on the field, and then a second fight in the parking lot shortly after that game was canceled. Video shows police trying to break up the fight. Police confirm a knife was found in the parking lot after that fight ended. Four juveniles, ages 13 to 17, and one adult were arrested. All five were charged with assault. The adult, a 19-year-old from Gaithersburg, faces additional charges, including being intoxicated. One officer and a school staff member were injured. Today, Montgomery County School Superintendent Monifa McKnight announced major changes to school sports, including who will be allowed to attend games. We will not tolerate any sort of indefensible or violent behaviors because that then becomes a violation to our community on or off the fields and I just want to make sure everyone understands that. The new restrictions apply to all high school sporting events not just football and they include students of participating schools must have valid tickets and student IDs. Other school age spectators must have an adult chaperone. Students and spectators will not be allowed on the sideline, and there will be no entry after halftime and no re-entry. Other possible levels of restrictions that could be implemented include only families of student athletes and participants at home games being allowed to attend. There would also be the possibility that only families of student athletes and participants could attend, and in extreme circumstances, no spectators would be allowed. Now, there are other possibilities if things don't get any better, including games being moved to either Thursday afternoons or Saturday mornings. School officials were asked repeatedly about adult staff and coaches who are at the game, if any were involved, and whether or not any have been di disciplined. They refused to answer those questions, but we do know the two teams have forfeited last week's games, and they will also forfeit this Friday's games. These restrictions will stay in place at least through the end of this football season, possibly longer. That's the very latest here in Montgomery County. Back to you guys. All right, thanks. Whatever it takes to keep people safe. Thank you, Mark. Mark Seagraves reporting.